Brexit has also hit UK e-commerce hard. 94% of British online brands state that they have lost customers in the EU since the Brexit transition period ended on December 31st. In collaboration with the research company Censuswide, the multi-channel platform provider Channel Advisor asked 304 marketing managers of British brands about their online sales figures. Channel Advisor wanted to know if the brands lost business in the wake of Brexit and how much border delays, unexpected taxes and other factors contributed to this. The overwhelming majority answered yes to both of these questions. Two-thirds said that the complications caused a significant decrease in the number of EU customers. While the corona-related lockdowns have seriously affected stationary retail, brands that sell their products online have enjoyed great success. 92% of the surveyed CMO stated that they had gained a significant number of new customers since the beginning of the crisis. 82% observe higher sales figures than before the pandemic, and at least 27% even sell significantly more. The figures only remained the same for 16% of the brands surveyed. 93% of CMOs also state that they are more confident about the future of their brand than before the start of the corona crisis in March 2020. Around a third of those surveyed showed this very optimistic. However, the consequences of Brexit could jeopardize this positive future outlook for British e-commerce. When it came to international sales, more than two-thirds with 68% of brand CMOs said they had experienced a Brexit-related decline. For 22%, the drop in sales in international business was even significant. Brexit resulted in increasing international sales figures for only 15% of the brands surveyed. 17% state that they did not notice any effects. One of the main problems for the majority of brands are Brexit-related delays in shipping products across borders. For example, 73% of CMO state that their brands have been able to deliver to EU customers less quickly since Brexit. For a third of the respondents, the delivery times have even increased significantly. Despite these adversities, companies are optimistic about global sales growth in the coming years. 91% of CMOs expect international business to pick up in the next 12 months. 32% expect a significant increase. British brands can look forward to phenomenal growth rates right now. This will play an important role in the country's economic recovery after the corona crisis. At the same time, the last few months have shown how severe the disruption caused by Brexit was and is in some cases. The vast majority of companies complain about delays and customs problems in doing business with EU customers. It is clear that brands that are not all so strong internationally rarely become real e-commerce giants. Everyone who can only benefit from a speedy solution to the border problems. External logistics service providers can contribute their expertise and help to master fulfillment challenges. But the search for new sales markets also often helps to cushion losses. First of all, it has to be said that the current level of confidence and excitement among many brands is uh, absolutely inspiring in the eyes of experts. After the huge upheaval the industry has recently seen, experts hope that companies will soon be reaping the benefits of their e-commerce initiatives, said Vladi Schlesman, Channel Advisor Managing Director for the EMEA region. And I'll see you in my next video. Auf Wiedersehen.